During the last vestiges of summer, I bought this dress from Zara and I just want to show you how I'm going to winterize it and play it down. What I loved is the shape. I love the high waistness. I don't particularly love the black here. I think that's very draining for me. I love the navy and I don't like the split. Why did I buy it, you might ask yourself. I just think the shape is beautiful, but I'm gonna wear it as a layering piece. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to winterize it is take some really old J. Crew trousers, which happen to be in the same color as the blue. And that's the key when you're mixing in a layering look, navy with navy. It's gotta be the same tone. So there's a sort of lightness to this blue. And then the trousers, now I love, so I could do this look, but I'm thinking if I've got white at the bottom, do I want some white at the top? Because I don't like that draining this. Can you see it's a bit draining, this black here? I'm gonna get my little friend from Kos that I have used so much over the years to chain dresses. Because if you notice, this dress is really fitted. So I can't fit a blouse under it. So instead, I'm gonna take my magic little collar. I mean, it is just a huge improvement already. It's slightly light, you know, when you think I'm Sister Jane, but I just need that lightness in the collar. And then I can look at my makeup and just feel more comfortable, but I'm gonna winterize it even further. So let's just do the makeup first. So for this look, I've done a tiny bit of BFF de-stress, but I'm going to do a look I do a little bit when I want to do that kind of contoury, clever look. So I'm gonna take Gaia and put a little bit of color on my face, just a little bit of tan. And then I'm gonna put a little bit here to sculpt the cheekbone. And I'm gonna take Chloe lip to cheek. And it's the only time I do blush it differently, but I continue down the line of the contour and I bring it into my cheek and it gives you just a much more sculpted cheekbone like that. And then Chloe on my lips. Chloe is like a sort of burgundy, but it depends on the color of your lip. And then I'll do a little bit of wisdom on the eye. Wisdom and Chloe has got to be one of my favorite looks I haven't done for so long. And then I'll put a tiny bit of Dido in the middle like that. I've half winterized my look, but the other thing that's key is a good pair of socks in the same shade. Now, I always want to elongate my legs, so I'm just going to take the sock and you can see it's the same tone as the trouser. Important for elongation. So now I've got the socks on and I've got silver shoes on. So my whole elongation is happening more. And then finally, also Zara, what I love about this as a jacket, it has this stretchy bit here. So you don't feel the formality and you can do it up either just there like that and create a wonderful shape because it's a very pretty shape. It reminds me of a very old Aussie Clark, but I can either do that there and have it open and just giving a nice shape or I can do it right up because it's got this very nice side fastening buttons. There, chic but comfortable. So, you know, you want to be smart, but comfortable. Final moment is a bag. And I love the idea of the white bag over it. I just think it breaks up the navy and it's the bag I got from Lutz Morris. Love this bag, so divine. I got it in the Joseph vintage sale for a hundred and something pounds. All your credit cards are in there. He's like the cleverest bag designer where you're going for perfection in design over name. 